everybody, it's Tessa here. Welcome to my coop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to insulate a prefabricated store-bought coop for winter. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to insulate your coop for winter on a budget, but also without using heat lamps or other dangerous things for inside your coop. So, I have some of this insulation that I got at a big box store here in town. Um, this insulation is called a double-sided silver and it almost feels like bubble wrap and that's what I'm going to be using inside the coop. So what's great about it is that all I have to do is cut it to size and then I'm going to use some reflective foil tape to secure it in place. Now with this I don't have to worry about chickens pecking at it where other types of insulation like styrofoam or any kind of foam you do risk having your flock eat the insulation. With this, it is a solid piece and they're not getting through. And if they do, it's just gonna hurt their beak. So they probably won't. Um, so let's get it cut to size and get it installed. Now with this bubble insulation, there's no right side or wrong side. They're both the same. So I've got the top of the nesting box off. I am going to take the cheaters way out because I am not great with power tools. It's not my forte. So that's why there's no staple gun or saw um, or blade involved other than scissors, which is what I'm using to cut this. Oh my gosh, watch out birds. So I'm just going to get this cut to size and then I'm going to tape it on. Okay, piece one is done. So on the inside of my nesting box, I now have a nice layer of this. I'm gonna do the same thing for the walls of my nesting box and the exterior walls inside the coop. So that means I'm gonna need to measure them, cut and tape them in place. The only thing that you wanna make sure you're doing is don't close up your ventilation. On this model of prefab coop, there is ventilation on this side. So I wanna make sure that I'm not closing and covering that over. In some of the higher peaked ones, like the one that's peaking in the background there, the ventilation is actually in the roof. So if you have a peaked coop, don't make the insulation cover that top peak. That's usually where the ventilation is. Cause there is a difference between a draft and a vent. The draft is coming in from the sides and chilling your birds. The ventilation is usually near the top and it's where all of that extra stinky and heat is going out the top. So let's get this started. Okay, so here is what the inside of the coop looks like now that I've gotten the reflective material in. So I'm not totally done taping it in there because this doorway was pretty narrow and my shoulders are a little wider than that. So I'll have one of my kids help me with that later, but you can see there in the middle is where I made sure to not cover up the vent. And down in here, I've got that metallic on the top of my nesting box and on the side walls, just to keep my birds nice and toasty. So all in all, I only spent $12 to insulate this coop. It was $8 for this roll of the bubble wrap insulation, and then it was $4 for this roll of the tin tape. Now, you may be asking yourself, why didn't you just use duct tape? Well, it's because I wanted to be able to use these things for predators too. So if you're using anything metallic and shiny and you want your dollar to go a little farther, you can take extra pieces of this bubble wrap or pieces of the tape and you can hang them by your coop so that they are able to catch wind and kind of spin. So if I cut this into pieces and I hang them here on my net, if I didn't have this here or if this coop was outside of a covered area, having reflective materials near the coop that move with the wind are great to help keep predators away. And this time of the year, airborne predators are gonna be looking for your birds. So having these reflective things moving is just a little bit too scary and it might help keep them from moving on. So not only did $12 insulate your coop, but it's also gonna help provide some protection. So cut those extra pieces into strips, hang them off your coop, hang them around your coop or near a tree, 
anywhere close by so that it can wave away and say goodbye hawks. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out at MeyerHatchery.com. We're always here for you. Have a good day, everyone.